it's March and spring is coming. Less winter, less snow. I'm so excited. Hey there guys, this is Samantha and today I have my... What is my cat? Stop eating paper! You're so stupid, Crockett! So today I have my February wrap-up and March, January from March DBR. So, let's begin. So I had a very successful reading month this past month, February. I'm very proud of how many books that I've read. So let me just begin with what I read and I think I have them in order so you'll know what order I read all these books in. So the first book that I finished this month was The Timekeeper by Mitch Album, and I enjoyed it. I gave it how much? I gave it a three stars on Goodreads. It was a decent book. There wasn't it wasn't my favorite book, but I finished it and I didn't have to force myself to finish it, so that's always a good thing. The next book that I read is It Will Always Be You by Tina Ness, and I won this off of Goodreads, but I did not really like it that much. I gave it a two stars out of five on Goodreads and I finished it but I had to force myself to because I did not enjoy this. I'm pretty sure that I had a review of this. I think I posted a review of this. If I did then I will have a link to it somewhere and you can look at that review if you would like. Isn't it depressing when your camera dies in mid-sentence? Okay let me continue. If not then I just mentioned that for nothing. The next three books that I read are the last three books in the Demon Shepherd's Daughter series and I really enjoyed them. I gave all of them in the series a 4 out of 5 stars. I liked them, didn't love 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 them, but I did like them. I enjoyed them. All of the books, they were pretty good. I finished the series, I enjoyed how it ended, and all of that good stuff. I also read the Retro Demonology ebook. Mmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Novella, novella. I also read the Demon, Retro Demonology ebook novella thing and I enjoyed it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It was okay, not as good as the book series, but it was decent as it was. The next book that I read, I buddy read with Elena from Elena Reads, and it is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, and I already bought the second book, and I plan on reading it next month. The next book that I read was Talk to Me by, what's her name? Sonia Ellis, and I know I keep looking down just because my phone is down here and it has all my information, and I gave it a three out of five stars. I was actually lucky enough to get this off of NetGalley for a honest review and I like like most three star books that I rate. I enjoyed it, didn't love it, I finished it, didn't have to force myself to finish it. It was a pretty good book. Nothing more to say. The next book that I finished was Looking for Alaska by John Green and I really liked it. It wasn't as good as Fault in Our Stars in my opinion. I really enjoyed it though. I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, so again, liked it, didn't love, love, love it, so there you go. And then the last book that I finished this month was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Me Benjamin Alir Science. You guys, this book, I was nervous starting it and I absolutely loved it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I was liking it throughout most of the book. I think about here, yeah, where this little bookmark thingy was because there was one quote in here that I absolutely loved. I think I liked it. I think it was a four out of five stars from here on. And then just at the end, it just got so much better. The five out of five stars. Oh, it was so good. I, Everyone who has not read this, you really need to, you really need to read this book. You're definitely going to enjoy it. And then there are two books that I have not finished yet or I will not be finishing. Um, the first one is The Secret by Rhonda Burns, Burns, and I liked this book, but it was just really redundant, so I did not finish it. It's, it's going to be a DNF for me, but it wasn't for the message. The message was really good, but it just I couldn't get through it because it was just kept repeating itself in different ways, and it just didn't enjoy it. So I did not finish this one, but I liked the message. So it'll probably get a three stars because it was, like I said, a good message, it just wasn't my thing, didn't want to keep hearing the same thing over and over again. And then the last book that I'm currently reading that I'm almost done with, I think my e-reader says that I am about 79% of the way done with it, and it is Mary Hades by Sarah Dalton, and again, this is another book that I was lucky enough to get off of NetGalley, and I'm not really loving it, it's okay, uh, it's 
probably gonna be a force to finish. It's not because it's a bad book, it's just I'm not excited to finish it, so I'm like trying to push my way through it. I did not get to, the only book that I did not get to was The Siren's Reckoning by, I don't know their, the author's name, I'll put it right here, but it's because I just wasn't feeling it at the time. It wasn't because I didn't like the book. I really didn't get into it at all. It's just, I was not, I did not want to read a book like that at that point in time. So I just read a different ebook. I think I started with Talk To Me. So I read that one instead of Siren's Reckoning, but yes. But I'm impressed. I read quite a few books this month, including some ebooks. So that's quite a few. I think this is my best reading month I've had in a while. So let's get on with my TBR for next month. So first off, I'm definitely going to be trying to read Siren's Reckoning by insert author's name here. And I'm going to try and read that one as soon as I can because the author sent me the copy like I've mentioned before. The next book that I'm going to be attempting to read is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And I am super excited. And if there's a if the smell of the book gets to me, I know that I have an ebook of it, so I can just start reading that, and that'll satisfy an ebook of this month that I have to read. The next book that I shall be reading is Where She Went by Gail Foreman, and I, like I said, I read the first book last month, and I am going to be reading this one this month, and hopefully I fly through it pretty quickly. The next book that I'm going to be reading this month is Salted by Erin Galvin, and I was sent this by the author, oh Erin, you wonderful man, you. I absolutely loved Salem's Vengeance by him, and then he found my review and sent this to me, this wonderful book, and I'm super excited to start it. So I will be having a review of this one, because Erin. And all of Erin's books are very soft. I love feeling them. As weird as that is, but his books are soft. The next book that I'm going to be trying to read this month is Forbidden by Tab Tabitha Suzuma, and this has some sensitive subject matter. This has some sensitive subject matter to it, but mm, I really want to read it as weird as that is. I have some weird book taste, but I like the controversial books. I really am excited to read this, so Oh, I'm so excited to read this. And I've been meaning to pick the, I picked this book up so long ago and I've been meaning to actually pick it up and read it for the longest time and I'm so excited that I'm finally starting it. And then to satisfy my start and end a trilogy, well a series, is I'm going to be reading the Bright Young Things trilogy by Anna Godperson, that's her name, and I am so excited to read this. I need my drama filled books. I feel the need to read them. I was originally going to read the in Enclave series by Anna Guire, but I just wasn't feeling it this month. I feel like I just need some socialite drama in my life at the moment, so this is definitely going to be the books that I'm reading this month. So those are the only books that I have planned for reading this month. Um, if I have any extra extra time to read, I actually started a pile of really short books that I can get through really fast so I can cut my TBR pile down a little bit by how many books I have. So I have a pretty big pile of really short books that I can start on if I have any extra time this month. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking. I will see you guys next time.